Hi everyone, Imran here with another video on how to fix iPad unavailable or iPad is disabled. These are the two most common errors most iPad user faces. So I will show you how to fix this using iTunes. First of all, you need to download Talk Pumware or IPSW file for your iPad. You also get the download option in iTunes when you click on the restore button. But that takes a lot of time and sometimes freezes so I am using a third party website to download the IPSW file. The link is given in the description. IPSW.me is the website. Here you will find all the Apple devices. So we are having iPad. I will click on iPad. Now here are all the models. iPad models with generation. If you already know the generation and iPad model, then select your iPad and when you click on this, click on the latest version. Okay. Now here is the download link. If you don't know the uh, device model number, then click on identify my device. Here select iPad and enter the iPad model number. It is written on the back of your iPad. My iPad model is 82377. You click. Now you are given with the download links. Now click on the latest version. I have installed IDM. Right click download with IDM and it will download the file. If you don't have IDM then click download and it will download the file in the browser. Now I have already downloaded the file so I will connect my iPad in recovery mode and open iTunes to restore your iPad. Producing these tutorials takes a lot of efforts and time. For encouragement please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Now you need to boot your iPad into recovery mode. First you need to press the volume up, then volume down and then keep holding the power button until your iPad is on the recovery screen. Now make sure during this process your iPad is connected to PC. Now I will show you how to do this. Connect your iPad to PC. Now Press the volume up once, volume down and now keep holding the power button until your iPad is entered into recovery mode. Now keep holding, I am still holding the power button as you can see. Now keep holding, now as you can see your iPad is in the recovery mode. Now I will move to my PC and run iTunes. Cancel and now hold the shift key and click on restore iPad. Select the downloaded firmware and click on restore. And once done your iPad will reboot and start placing the firmware. Now at this point we are almost done so it will take around 10 minutes depending on your PC and iPad so it took me around 10 minutes to restore the firmware so once done your iPad will again reboot and take another 2 to 3 minutes to optimize the app for the first boot so you need to wait for that as well once done you will be asked to Select language, country and connect to a Wi-Fi network to set up your iPad where you agree to terms and conditions normally you would do and ask to share your data with Apple or not for diagnostic purposes. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you.